Yeah, of course. So I kind of got here right when everyone got here. So that kind of helped out meeting people and kind of getting acclimated with Coach Russell's staff. But it's been an awesome experience so far. There's obviously been some things I need to get used to. But, you know, the coaches have been really supportive. The players have kind of taken me with open arms. So it's kind of made it pretty a pretty seamless transition from UMass. Obviously, your goal was to do what you've done and be with the first team. How have you been able to accomplish that? Uh, just a lot of hard work. You, you know, Coach Grimes preaches, you know, consistency, and that's something that kind of having, obviously, better competition on a daily basis is something that I had to improve on and, you know, kind of learn all the techniques and all that. But it's been great, and, um, you know, I said the O-line is a great group of guys, and they've kind of helped me out when I haven't understood stuff. or So it's kind of they've been done a good job helping me out. Talk to guys like Mike and Mark Well, they talked about you this summer, all those extra sessions going out, doing those things. How important was that for you to, to be around those – those veteran guys in this offense and take those times to learn and get prepared for camp. Yeah, those sessions were really helpful because kind of coming from an offense that was a different type, as I said, there was kind of a lot of – there was a little learning curve to get used to, but they've done a great job. And Coach Lindsay and Coach Malzahn always were open if I had questions. Or Same with Coach Grimes and our GA coach kids did a great job. You know, watching a lot of film on last year and a few years ago's team, kind of making sure that when camp started there wasn't really a drop-off and – you know, you're not trying to learn the offense then. You kind of just got to go play and not deal with all the mental part of it. What's it like going up, going up against Marlon Davidson and Nick Coe on a, on a daily basis? You know, it's one of those things. It's it's obviously a challenge, but it gets you a lot better. And I can already tell that I've become a better player, and I hope I'm, you know, making them better, a better player as well. It's fun. You know, that's kind of, as a competitor, that's the kind of stuff you like is getting to play the best every day and kind of seeing how good you really are. heat <laughs> I mean that's definitely was a big part of it but um kind of the what I just said is it's the competition every day in and day out UMass we had a bunch of great players but probably not as many as we have here so kind of having to bring your a game every day was something that you know I had to get I got used to and I said it's fun but you know I kind of back to what I said at first heat really was a big part of it I mean it hit 120 on the field out here up in Massachusetts. If it hit above 90, they'd cancel practice. Not really, but. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, in the last few years at UMass, you went up against a handful of SEC teams. How much do you think that experience helped you as soon as you got here? Yeah, I think that was kind of something that gave me confidence coming in. Is My first start as a redshirt freshman was in the swamp. Um, so that's kind of something that I understand that, you know, everyone puts their pants on one leg at a time. So. It's really you just got to, as I kind of alluded to earlier, you got to bring your A game every day. And I, I, did, I do think that experience helps me. I kind of knew what to expect a little bit more. And I wasn't going into it with kind of a blind eye, just playing kind of some lower level teams. And even outside of the teams we play in the SEC, we played Boston College, who had a couple draft picks on that defense. And that really helped me out and kind of gave me confidence that, hey, I can play at a place like Auburn. Talk about your decision to come to Auburn. Why in particular did you choose here? It just it, Auburn really felt like home. To be honest, I never had spent any time in the South. I mean, I've been to Florida a few times. Um, I said we play games, but as you guys know, you're not really not spending time in those types of places. Really, just sitting in a hotel and playing. And I came down here. I really loved. It. I loved Coach Malzahn. I really thought I had to kind of hit it off with Coach Russell. And just the kids, I had an opportunity to kind of spend time with a bunch of the kids on the team. And it was a group of guys that I think that uh, I, I could see myself surrounded by and that could make me a successful player and a friend too, because that's another important part too is, you know, not just a social aspect, but how you fit in, you know, you have to have a social life. You don't just want to be here and back and sit in your dorm room. And there are a bunch of guys who I reminded me a lot of my friends at UMass, which kind of made, made me a little comfort, more comfortable. How strange is it that you're joining this group and not only are you a new guy, but you're the most experienced guy of that group? Obviously, it goes to being a grad transfer, but that you really are the most experienced player, even though you've not played on this team just yet. Yeah, it's definitely um, kind of an interesting thing, but I feel that, you know, guys like Mike and Mark, well, they carry themselves like they've been, you know, starters for four years, and they kind of have that pedigree and confidence. But it's just even if I can help out the young kids in preparation, stuff like that for some games, because, I mean, it, it's, you know, getting ready for a game is a big deal, especially a team like Washington week one is – you know, we, I've, I said my first start was against Florida, so it's one of those things where I kind of know what it takes to kind of mentally lock in for a game and 
also physically prepare and you know, things like sleep, nutrition, how important that really is for game day. When you, when you watch Tega on the other side, what stands out about him? He's a great athlete. He's a really, really good athlete. And, you know, he's someone who, you know, I always watch and kind of try to take some things from his game too because I think he does his, um, he's got really long arms too so he can kind of get people off him in the run game. And he's a good technician as well. And that, so I think he's a great overall player and someone that I can kind of try to take things from his game. What's been the biggest surprises for you down here in the South? Skiing, you know, going out, meeting other people, what has been different? Um, biggest difference. Definitely the food, I would say, is kind of a little different. A lot more fried food than up north, but I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, the people are also, I've been shocked, they're really friendly. I'm kind of from an area outside New York City a little bit. And if any of you guys have ever been there, it's straight down, head down, point A to point B. And here people will stop you to strike up a conversation. If you're even wearing an Auburn shirt, and it, the hospitality has been awesome down here. Any new food you've discovered that you really like? Uh, I like cat. I've never tried catfish until I got here. It's pretty good. JB Grimes, your, your coach, was saying that what's really giving you the edge right now over Austin is you're, you're stronger uh, than him. Would you think that's your strength as an offensive lineman? Take me through what you think you got to work on and, and what you think is your, your strongest points. I think I'm a pretty good athlete, and um, I, I think I am a pretty strong guy. Kind of, you know, Coach Russell really helped me improve that area this summer. One thing I think I need to work on is I'm trying to be more of a technician. I think and that's another kind of reason that was a deciding factor of coming here was Coach Grimes is known to be one of the best technical coaches in the country, and that was an area I really wanted to improve on in my game and, you know, to take that next step up and be a great player. So I'm really trying to work on the technical aspect of it and kind of footwork, hands, because that's so important when you're going against a good player is even just a bad, you know, bad hands can cost you a rep or cost you a sack or a TFL. So – that's really what I've been trying to work on in camp. And really, I kind of go out there each day with one little thing I want to improve on. And I think that's a good mindset where if you can just one thing a day, then you can kind of come along quickly than just trying to cover a million things in one day. Do you think you're ready for, you know, Washington and then facing SEC team after SEC team? I mean, you've done it before every now and again, but not week after week. Do you think you're ready? Yeah, I'm confident. I think um, the coaches are going to put me in a good position to succeed, and I think they've already done a good job of kind of – I mean, as they said, is when you're going against a front seven like we have, is it's – you know, there's not going to be many fronts better than them in the country, so kind of getting to work with them day in and day out is something that's made me more confident, kind of going to that week-to-week -week grind. Good. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Thank you. What are you working on?